Review of English Staffordshire Bull Terrier. It is one of Britain's most popular dog breeds. They're sometimes mistaken for forbidden pit bulls. They're legal, friendly pets. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is known as the nanny dog in England because of its reputation as a child's playmate and guardian. This dog is a lover, not a fighter, despite his intimidating demeanor. The breed is gentle, docile, and always eager to have a good time. Although the Staffordshire is not searching for conflict, it will not back down from a challenge and is not always friendly with other dogs. Appearance The medium-sized Staffordshire Bull Terrier has a short, multicolored coat. Males are 36 to 41 centimeters and 13 to 17 kilograms, while females are 33 to 38 centimeters and 11 to 15 kilograms. The breed's broad skull, prominent cheekbones, and short foreface are distinctive. Short body, broad legs. Despite their stocky physique, they are agile, muscular, and swift. Personality. A Stafford is loving from birth and never shy or snarly. They're lively, enthusiastic, and awake even when resting. This breed is hardy, courageous, tenacious, and curious. A people-loving personality makes them good family caregivers, but less property protective. Because they're so observant and people-oriented, they'll notify you to visits, wanted or not. Heredity, training, and socialization affect temperament. Good-tempered puppies are curious, playful, and willing to be held. Choose the middle-of-the-road puppy, not the one who's beating up littermates or hiding. Always meet at least one parent, usually the mother, to confirm they have good temperaments. Meeting the puppy's siblings or other relatives can help you predict its future behavior. Staffordshire Bull Terriers need early and lifelong socialization with many new people, sights, noises, and experiences. Socialization ensures a well-rounded Stafford puppy. Enroll them in puppy kindergarten. Regularly inviting visitors and taking them to crowded parks, dog-friendly establishments, and on leisurely strolls will help them improve their social skills. Care Staffordshire Bull Terriers are good companion dogs as long as they get daily activity. They should live inside with a fenced yard. Staffords are diggers, so strengthen fences with concrete or chicken wire to prevent escapes. This breed cannot use underground electric fencing. Without a sturdy barrier, other dogs can enter the yard and start a fight with a Stafford. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier's small face makes it unsuitable for hot, humid climates. They should always have shade and fresh water. Some Staffords like water and will enjoy a kiddie pool on hot days, but others don't. Staffords can't swim, so keep them out of pools. Two or three half hours to one hour walks or playtimes daily can satisfy Staffords' activity needs train or entertain them. Start training your Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy immediately. They're smart and fast learners, yet impulsive and stubborn. Skip traditional obedience training. Be patient, firm, and consistent to bond with your Stafford. Instead of punishing transgressions, always promote good behavior. A harsh reprimand undermines a dog's confidence and personality. Training and socializing will help you live happily together. A bored or lonely Stafford destroys things to amuse themselves. Staffords are vocal but not barkers. This breed will entertain you with snorts, snores, grunts, moans, and a yodeling singing voice. Stafford house training is easy if you're consistent and follow a schedule. Crate training helps with this and protects your SBT puppy from getting into trouble when you're not around. When they're stressed or fatigued, they might withdraw to their crate. Never punish in a crate. Leash training is crucial because your Stafford will pull hard despite his little stature. Leash etiquette is important for your muscles, happiness, and Stafford's safety. Never let them off leash where they might encounter unfamiliar animals. Unrestrained, they'll chase prey. Feeding. One and a half to two and a half cups of high quality dog food split between two meals. To avoid bloat, don't eat or drink for an hour after heart activity. Size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level affect how much an adult dog eats. Individual dogs, like people, don't need the same amount of food. Active dogs need more than couch potatoes. The better the dog food, the less you'll need to shake into your dog's dish. Instead of leaving food available all the time, measure and feed your SBT twice a day. 
Give them the eye and hands-on exam to see if they're overweight. Look down first. See a waist. Place your hands on their back, thumbs along the spine, fingers spread. Without pressing aggressively, you should feel but not see their ribs. Those who can't eat less and exercise more. Children and other pets. The Stafford is good for families with children, although despite their tolerance and tenderness, toddlers and young children should constantly be supervised. They're rowdy and may knock over kids. Teach youngsters how to approach and touch dogs, and supervise interactions to prevent mouthing, biting, or ear or tail tugging. Teach your youngster not to approach a sleeping or eating dog or to take its food. Unsupervised dogs and kids shouldn't mix. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.